and good morning again if you believe it or not another poll review <laughs> so today we have from daylight archery finally i reviewed it already but i didn't know that it was this bow daylight's premium bow the monarch so i tested it already but we simply run through it again because i had to delete the whole video because i was wrong it wasn't the phoenix it was the monarch so and i could have thought it because this is the only one with this real korean grip here has carbon sticker on this carbon looking sticker on this side and the rest is as we know it so what you get is from daylight archery the monarch it's a korean bow laminated bow this one is 48 inches long has a brace head again of roughly five and a half inches has 45 pounds you can have this bow from 30 to 60 pounds and this bow's max draw is 31.5 and again you can have this bow from 44 to 53 inches and then according the draw length of 29 and a half to 34 inches the difference of this bow to the other two is we have bucket fiberglass hardened maple and then we have high modulus carbon so some kind of better carbon and fiberglass again of all these bows you have two years warranty oops so this one is 50 and a half they are so precise i like that arrow pass is ooh, stay here it's a little more narrow than the other one is 28 millimeters did i lose another string i lost the string this is a quite popular bow in korea let's find out why they all by Huyong Mugung or the name is Huyong Mugung and they always have a description on it so you know your poundage you know your length of the bow and you know the max draw and this is what I like so whatever you have then you always know what bow it is so description is important guys stringing is like with all the others easy really easy we have a brace sight of Five and a half, and the bow weighs 310 grams. I like this handle way more than the others, but that's me. Draws feels good. Let's see. Thirty-one and a half. Yep almost there so i'm not still there yet so the last inch you really need to force the bow like with the other one maybe this one a little more we have a little more flex in the handle well, not even no they are really quite similar all of them we see how differently they perform what i can tell you this bow the premium version the monarch is 270 us dollars free shipping two years warranty as said and I think it's time to shoot. When you look at the Monarch, it looks more curvy than the other one, but it's simply, it's not. <clears throat> so here we have the normal handle, as we know it from the Korean boss, which feels really nice. <sighs> it's not a Phoenix, it's for the Monarch. Leather hoodie as usual, string pad as usual, this tape, which is for a premium bow, in my opinion, a little ugly, but that's me. And then you have this carbon looking stuff sticker description and this nice handle but we want to shoot it now 31 and a half inches max draw 45 pounds at 31 and 320 grain arrows yeah nice look at this yes. you still feel it a little mm. let's try torque feels good doesn't shake that much but you have a little thicker handles that compensates a bit for the vibration in your hand this bow feels and this is way a little stiffer oh and you're really stiff so most probably this different carbon has an effect but not that much that i would overly feel it right now let's see what the monarch will do at 30 meters it's a pretty bow Wow, look at this. Okay, was a bit high. Oh, almost hit the 
much. It feels, feels really good. 28 we have. 37.6. And 30 inches we have. Yeah, 30. 34.9, 30, 40, uh, 44, and at 31 and a half, we have all oh, this last inch, 48. So at the end, you see from 30 to 31 and a half, we have four pounds in one and a half inches. So it's already a little, you see, it goes a little up, but not a lot at all. So a string angle supposed to be then again at 28, as usual, yes, 30. No problem. And 31 and a half I don't have here, but you can see it here. This will be 31 and a half. This one. Handle, awesome. Let's see what the Monarch will do with this different carbon layer. 197, 196, 197. So carbon makes a difference. The Monarch, look at this one. Shooting experience is nice, really nice with this bow. Look at this. And with this bow, feels a bit more it's directly the arrows go the way you point so this bow at least I don't need a few shots with this bow the arrows go directly where I want them to so most probably this carbon here inside really does make a little difference compared to the Phoenix in the Skywalk I like it premium bow I mean $270 Still fine, I guess. Free shipping. Center. Center. Now the center fell. Incredible. When I'm done with the reviews, I might do a side-by-side -side comparison with all three bows from Daylight. And you see 170, 210, 270 dollars price. So the Monarch. Look at this pretty bow. This carbon does its job. String twist, Katra, Torque. Oh, no problem. Awesome. Let's see if the Monarch deserves the crown or not. Price-wise, it deserves it. Two hundred seventy dollars plus uh, free uh, free shipping, plus shipping, free shipping. What do we get? We get a bow and a string and nothing else. Unfortunately, I think a premium bow, Kim, would deserve at least a nice bow sleeve, which you can use then as your quiver, as your belt. You know what I mean? Would give it one point more and put a description and would be another point. You know, it's this so one point. Handling, stringing this bow, easy. This bow is straight no matter what you do. So this is really a straight bow. I had other Korean bows. They tend to nick the tips away. This one is straight. Five. The build. Oh, the build of this bow is really nice. I mean, we have again this tape here for a premium bow. I don't know. Leather hoodie tab. You know, everything is the same. But the handle. Look at the handle in suede. Feels this one feels awesome. So this handle is really great. You have a description on it, everything. So build quality, pure five. Basic feel, wiggly handle. Almost not. Nothing. So this bow doesn't wiggle even when you draw and torque and whatever. This bow feels totally safe. Five. Draw experience, and here we have the same, like with all of them, the last inch. 
here it's nice. This is now. I mean, it's doable, but this last inch you really need to force it. But it goes there, but still 31 and a half is really max draw. This bow feels nice at 30, maybe 31, 30 and a half, but 31 and a half is really tough to get. That's why four points. Shooting experience on the other side. This bow doesn't need any shots. You have this bow in your hand and you feel directly extension of you where you point the arrow goes. This bow draws nice and safe. Feels simply awesome. Five points. Leaves it with 25, like we had with the, and the, I will have 25 points. Price value, $270. You see the difference in speed compared to a same poundage Phoenix. It does easy 10 foot per second more. You feel less vibration in the handle. So this different carbon layer does a good job. And for me, even when I shot 30 meters directly, it's more forgiving so it's more where you point the arrow goes your grouping will directly be better with or at least for me it was better than with the other bow and i like this handle so 270 dollars free shipping i think it's still a reasonable price for what you get here give it a five so there you have it so now as i finished all three korean bows from daylight i might do a quick side by side comparison shoot them all side by side so you see or I tell you if I feel any difference which might be interesting for you or not we see really nice I like this bow but it feels oh, feels great so Kim thank you very much for sending this bow to me really nice one and on the other side 270 dollars still nothing for a good bow and for you all thank you very much for watching catch you in the next one